I'm Andrew Hill with Sage at Work. In a previous video, I talked about why having a vision is important for you and for your company. And what that leads us into is strategic planning, because that's the first step. So I'm going to write down in, in order vision. You need to have a vision for what you intend the outcome to be. This is, this is not magic. This is just about looking into the future and, and being in alignment with who you are as a company, your values, and your purpose. And as you move, in, that future becomes big goals with a vivid description. It tells you where you want to go. This is absolutely key and critical to the process because we cannot develop our relevant and meaningful goals unless we have this. So the first step is cover your vision. Describe it very, very accurately. The second piece, goals. Okay, we need to have long-term goals, probably measuring in five to 10 or even longer years, depending on the size of the company and the nature of what you do. So you're gonna have long-term goals. And then through the planning process, what we do is break that down into one year or less with short-term goals. So these work in both directions. So we just want to make sure whatever you're working on through the, through the SAGE process is a short term that feeds into the long term. One of the other pieces that I use often in strategic planning is a SWOT exercise. You might have heard that. That's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a good idea to take a look at the first two because they're internal. Strengths and weaknesses, that's you or your company. And then the external is opportunities and threats. So this gives us a good environmental view, a high picture about what we're working with, what are the ingredients, and what makes you unique in what you do versus all the other companies um, that are out there. Fourth, the, the fourth piece in the process is we look at um, strategic issues that will tell us more of what our objectives are going to be. So strategic issues. This is like, what are you facing that are your challenges? Okay. I usually try to phrase these in how questions, like how will I launch this new product? Or how will I develop my current workforce so that they're able to perform at a much higher level? Okay. Those, that, those are good questions. And then what they're going to lead to is objectives, which is basically statements that say, okay, I will develop my, the management of my company um, to work at a higher um, performance level because they have all conducted um, emotional intelligence um, assessments. They may have done behavioral assessments and other things that give them the tools and the, and the knowledge to expand their impact on the company and, and the employees. So, that would be strategic issues, objectives, and initiatives. And the very last part is we need an action plan. Why this is important? Well, there, about 3% of our population is successful. And the reason is, is because they have a written plan for their success. The rest of the 97% of the population do not take deliberate action. So why not be part of that 3% Doing this process leaves you with an action plan on how you can follow through and accomplish your goals much more quickly. And at Sage at Work, we cover all of this, including the uh, implementation of your action plan.